Hey everyone, I'm Alfred, welcome back to Hylix 2. Uh, last time we got killed, which is fine. Um, I'm heading back to New Muldul, but I think I'm going to head back out of the city immediately. Man, this is a real shake up on the, on the whole thing. I wonder how they're going to restrict my movement, because like... Come on, this isn't a thing. Gosh. That's okay. So I've got some... Oh yeah, there's this diving board here. Nice. So let's see here. Or maybe those are for the airship. Somehow I somehow I knew. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. Maybe not the intended place, but somewhere. I feel like I don't understand the direction as much. Like, normally giving the player freedom is a good thing, right? Like, of course it is. It's cool to have uh, cool places to go in your game. But, like, the the way that Hylix 1 opened up was it opened up kind of late in the game. When, um, are these, like, weird statues? It opened up relatively late in the game after you got the airship. Like, because first it unlocked when you got the boat. Oh, there's a coin in there. But yeah, the boat makes it so you can only, um... I think only go, go uh, to and from with, like, docks. Um, and so, like, it's just a way to get to, like, a few new places. And so, like, when it feels like it opens up is when you get the airship. And again, that's not, like, as free, but, like... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about giving the player so much, like, so many places to go. Because I feel lost. We got coin. Yeah, this is really weird. And not even in the sense of like, whoa, what is this game? Was it made on drugs? But like... Feral Hydrostat. Um... Let's do you, because you ran away last time, and I want to see if I can kill it. Burning. Okay. Lightning. Let's do a road flame. Cool. Like that. That also means that we've killed something. Oh yeah, that means that, that's a that's a very interesting thing about this game. Where like this is a a single player RPG that has meta progression. Ah. Like that's a weird but cool idea. Oh, weird. Man, 
Ugh. I really hate that, to be perfectly honest with you. Nice. And three antennas. Feel like I'm making a lot more good progress this time. So I wonder if this is the same Pongorma. Because it's very obvious that, like, I don't think this is supposed to be the same Wayne. Because, like, why else would there be so many of them? And maybe I'm, like, a reincarnation of the original, but, like... That's just making it complicated for no reason. And, like, yes, it's Hylix, but I don't know if it's really usually that... Oh! Hey, man! Dismolen, how's it going? When I'm infiltrating the fortress, my research suggests an intact cabinet lies within its walls. Task has likewise brought us to this place. We'll combine forces. Excellent. A canal leads into the fortress. Take the paddle and use the canoe. All right. See, I think I think Dismolen was supposed to be the first guy to show up in the first game. Hmm. To charge his potency. Mini crystal. A stick for pushing water. Let's see what you got, Datus Mom. Foam armor. Oh yeah, a nice commenter told me what the hell ablative means. Like, ablative hollow pleather. Cupcake. A blade of, I believe, means, if I'm remembering right, it just means armor that is intended to be burnt or destroyed. Um, so, like, the stuff that goes on the outside of the space shuttle is a blade of. All right. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry, I'm just... Getting used to the controls. The fact that I can even sprint is really new to me, so. Oh, hey. Got another one of these as well. Yeah, we can also now go to the afterlife freely. So I wonder if this game has random encounters, because the last one actually doesn't. There's a limited amount of encounters in the game. I was hitting the wrong button there. Let me just say, whoops. Dude, this one is like a weird, gross little mullet. Ugh. Okay, I can rock with this. Weird. All right, we got the boys. We're missing Snom Snona, but Steelum Vog, my secret. Let's hit you then. Cookie. Oh man, that's Let's see if we can't get everyone burning, huh? Shatter. Heals ally and applies foamed, which increases max flesh and removes burning and leaking. Asylum Vogue. Okay. Let's do you, I guess. Alright, change the plans. We'll do you. Yeah, Shatter's bad, but I don't know how bad Vulnerable is.
Okay, there's one. There's two. We got one left. Glaive arc. Wow, that's a big damage. Cool. I got a stem cell. What's that? Does it add stats permanently? It's really we The load times in this game are really weird. 25 flesh and long lasting regeneration. Oh. Go north to view Vax's edifice. Use air dash to cross the ocean. That's cool. So it does actually tell you. Bug busters. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I've got things as well. Man, they do not give you a lot of uh, health. Okay, cool. Um, I think take this out because it'll give us more status effects. Yeah, there you go. Bingo, bango. Okay, so there's one down. Oh, you're going to charge up as well, huh? Luckily, we're, uh, we're good on that. The, <laughs> uh, Mason? A little thing stuck on the screen here. Alright, that's fine. Very classic feel that it uses the arrow keys of all things. I feel like I haven't used the arrow keys to navigate in a game in, like, years. Now what are you then? Ectrolan. Starting to run dry on stuff. Telescoping lashes. I'll use the thing. So what does this do? Classic. A oh, poison is not the same thing as dissolute. I erroneously believed that it was. Okay, one down. Sleep spores. Okay. Hmm. Do I have any, like, killers in here? Got that. So is the banana a good healing item because it looks like a moon? Clean you out, huh? That thing is a lot of health. Yeah, those things are like weird and annoying to fight. Oh, I could have saved that. That's okay.
Uh oh. Whoops. Okay. But again, like I just want to I just want to like get across to anyone who's interested in developing games that the idea of meta progression is interesting because it makes the game way easier no matter what. Are we full by the way? Okay, we are. Meta progression will always make a game easier. And normally you you do meta progression by having like a game where you take multiple runs. Like many multiple runs. And to do that in a single player RPG where you have one run is weird but interesting. Um, I was recently thinking about how weird it is how um, the Dark Souls games are balanced because I was I realized how like poorly a lot of them are balanced because like in some cases there's no reason to use magic in like Dark Souls three like magic isn't really that good. Um, and the reason for that is just because. The reason for that is because those are those games are balanced like uh, multiplayer games, but they're still single player RPGs. Like compare like Morrowind and how busted the magic is in Morrowind to how not busted the magic is in in Souls. And like in some cases the magic is busted, but it's because the magic is like. It's a single player RPG and magic might supposed to be good. Might might be a thing where it's supposed to be good, you know? My mouse pad is splitting open. That's not relevant to this, but like it's very it's very annoying to me. I've had it for like a year or so, I wanna say. Where was the Also, it looks like the party is being... Oh, okay, so you just have to fall off and this is the quicker way. Every time I forget that the fastest way is to um, just jump. And it looks like the only way, in fact. But yeah, I think I've had this mouse pad for like a couple... Like, a year and a half, maybe? And I don't know, I don't know if that's like a great time to have a mouse pad, but... Okay. Let's work on you, huh? And then we'll shock this with lightning because I, f I feel like that's smart. Because it's a lot of damage. And he's going to be stunned anyway. But yeah, and then a lot of us are also... Um, third of flesh. I, I think I'll snap the cave synesthesis. And then the burning should take care of him, right? And this should wake him up and maybe make him angry in the same turn. Yep. I forgot we didn't kill this thing also. Okay, he's dead. Okay, cool. Pongorma, what do you got to say? Who needs, I guess, Data Small, right? Yeah. Cool. Problem solved. I, I just realized I have like no idea where this game is going. I'm gonna I'm gonna run it on a limb here and say that 
this is probably going to be a thing where like Gibby gets resurrected. Because like if if the plot of a game is like, hey, the the villains are the villains this time are trying to resurrect the bad guy from last time, then like they probably want to bring him back, you know. Like, they just want to do that. And why wouldn't they? Because, like, you know it's a credible threat. It worked last time. Alright, I think you are the problem because you deal status effects to me. Yep, shatter. Hoop day it is. Yeah, they like combo you. Such an overkill for the amount of healing you're actually getting back, my mans. Okay. Pardon me for just using all the default normal attacks. But I'm a little, uh... Less than liquid when it comes to, uh... My special moves. Antenna. So what does Antenna do? I don't fully understand that yet. So let's take a look at those again. Antenna. Weird. So, I guess we're gonna find Snom Snona last. I always thought that you're supposed to get um, Pongorma last, but he's first this time. You're a uh, weird, huh? Galliform. I think we've seen this before. Uh, let's do lightning. Lightning is cool and fun. I like it. Let's just pile some more on you, huh? So I wonder if status effects can stack. And I wonder how. Like, will he be burning for four turns instead of two now? Or will he burn for two turns, but then burn it a burn it like twice the damage, you know? Nice. It's interesting they put in a little after action healing as well. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, we saved it. Well, maybe we should check out the outside first. Is it weird that I might prefer the original? It has such... Like, it has such a, like, indie feel. Like, I don't know. Maybe I just like RPG Maker. Yeah, it could just be that I like RPG Maker. I'm I'm even thinking about playing more RPG Maker games. Like, I know that I have a whole year of, of stuff ahead. Oh, yeah. Last episode, I was like, yeah, last year I played it. And, like, uh, I forgot that this episode's... Or last episode was coming out at the very end of last year. I had totally forgotten about that. Part of that's just because I haven't quite finished with... um. Uh, December's videos yet. 
I'm getting a little ahead on it, you know? Stab. Just a regular ass stab. Alright, that's what I was thinking. Okay, so he just went. All right. Okay, apparently this game takes place, uh, takes place, takes like nine hours to beat, which as video games go is decently short. Let's dash in here and see. Yeah, I was hoping for some bugs and ooh. Ugh, it's like growing meat. And there's that, possibly that worm that they mentioned. Yeah, looks kind of wormy in here, guys. What the hell? It is oppressively dark. Hey, it's the loading screen with me on it. Hello? Oh, it's a 2D side scroller. I got a double jump as well. I think this is... I think this is supposed to be a reference to Melter, because I think that in Melter you also attack with, like, sound, sound waves. Interesting. Yeah, I think in Melter you also attack with sound waves, and it's the same kind of, like, side scroller some light platformer ring Dash grants invincibility. This is this is super in depth. This could have been its own game. Oh yeah, for those who don't know, on the channel there are several um, there are several uh, like playlists that. Hylix is included in. One of them is just the Weird RPGs playlist, which also has Off, Omori. Um, I think Mermaid Swamp is in there as well. I don't think you're supposed to kill these things. <sighs> Too close. Anyway, yeah, um, obviously Hylix is in its own, uh, playlist. But it's also in a playlist called Mason Lindroth, which is just all the games of Mason Lindroth, because at some point I intended to definitely play Melter and I forget what the other one's called, but I think there's at least one more that he made.
But yeah, I think Melter specifically plays rather similar to this. Oh, there's a burrito down there. Whoa. Hoping for another save. Bingo Bango. As I expected, I can stand on him. Okay, another burrito. Anyway, yeah, sorry, I'm focusing on hardcore on this and, and not talking because, like, I'm just... I mean, look at it. Look at this game. But yeah, I intended to play a bunch of all, like, the rest of the Mason Lindroth games because I like that style so much. And like, I mean that style, I mean his, because I don't really think anyone else makes games like that. Yowzas. Gnarly. a swerve that I feel like I, I, I can't even talk about it. Kind of stuck down here as well. I do declare. Yeah, I'm just like focusing in super hardcore to this. I feel this even looks like the map that Mixer has. Or Melter. Look at the background, by the way. Just like... Everyone just pay attention to the, uh, the detail in this game. Oh, come on, that looks so like a bounce pad. Well, uh, one moment. Sorry, I thought I heard my uh, phone going off. It was, but I didn't hear the alarm. I just heard the um, I just heard the like song that it's playing, which is Mantis Lords as well. Oh, interesting. So are these like dummy coins. There we go. Well, you you threw off my groove, dude. Ah. 
Okay. Cool. This is a real swerve. I'm killing myself on purpose. Uh, this is a real, like... This is a shift. Because, like, Hylix wasn't, like, a particularly great RPG. Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna kill myself again just to get back up there. Hylix wasn't, like, a great RPG. Um, like I said, it mostly has a very, uh... Yeah, one of the things that makes Hylix 1 great is, like... Just how weird it is. And like how cool it looks and all that stuff, you know? Really clutched it out there. Oh, and that's the airship. Um Yeah, one of the things that makes Hylix one good and interesting is how just unusual and weird it is. Hello? It was like really weirdly optimized. Oh, it fits me in there. That's <laughs> huh. Uh huh. It's a Wayne head on a Wayne head that contains a smaller Wayne head, and then maybe a data small head. Head. It's lifting off into space. Space in Lindroth. Okay. So what does that get me? Was what, what did that what did that do? I assume it turned it off because I hacked my brain into there. Like you know how there's a lot of people who just like their entire channel is just like Dark Souls lore, like Vadi or Silvermont. I feel like there could be channels of Hylix lore, but the thing is is that there actually isn't that much going on in Hylix, you know? Like, Hylix is, is similar to, like, FF1, because it's just, like, um, Warpo. It's just, like, four heroes go and kill the evil king, you know? It's, it's not quite generic. It is pretty stock standard. Um, and, you know, that's not a bad thing. And it's kind of interesting about how um, the video game uses its, like, Ah. I see. Well, let's buff you up then. It's interesting how the video game intentionally doesn't use a lot of story and instead just goes for, like, style over substance because it's like, look, it's an RPG. The main character is going to rise up and kill the evil king. That's how it works, you know? Okay. Okay. Call for help. Let's do that. Because I know that Data Smoln's melee damage has always been lower. Okay. That's fine. I can take that. Stem cell. <laughs> Whoa, that's a cool animation. That's a really cool animation, actually. I had no idea that they could bust that out. So am I double vulnerable now? Or data small news? Okay, cool. So maybe it's intentional that those stay on the screen, because that's happened a couple of times. Now let's see how that does us. Pretty good. I feel good to just start marching from here. Then this takes us up. Okay, cool. So we've completed the circuit. 
tower key. So goofy. I wonder if there's a mechanic because, like, in the old game, in the first game, Snom Snona's like whole thing was that she had these gloves on and you couldn't put any other like weapon on her. Um, that guy looks cool on the left. Okay, I wanted Pongorma up. So let's do a lightning. Pool man. Oh, those are the pool men that they described earlier. Pretty cool character design, honestly. Okay. And then I don't care because I'm I'm gonna be stunned anyway. Alright. Cool. Datus Moln is up. Let's work on the pool man then, huh? I'm not seeing a lot of like elemental stuff in this game. Lambast. It means tease, I believe. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the um in like other RPGs if they want to mix it up or make it look cool. They usually go for a thing where like um You know, they, they have, uh, I don't know, they just have, like, elemental stuff. Uh, and Hylix doesn't look like it's gone that way. It doesn't look like it ever will. Um, and if they did, it would be weird stuff, like, like in Kingdom of Loathing, where the elements are, like, sleaze, stench, uh, spooky, etc. Ha! Fool. All according to my plan. All right. Yeah, I wanted to backtrack and grab some bugs. Have I gotten anything as well? I haven't. That's unfortunate. I can do this mission naked, though. Helix has never really been known for its difficulty. That would kind of be interesting if, like, this unheard of indie game with this really crazy cool art style was also just, like, the most difficult JRPG since, like... Wow, the Pool Man's really cool. Uh, most difficult JRPG since, like... I don't know, I'm just trying to think of a difficult JRPG. I guess Shin Megami Tensei? It's been a while. I'll beat this and all in the episode. That's such a funny animation. Glavark is... Hmm, that's trouble. That Tyro hasn't done much either. I'm kind of worried about him. I like that it says that it, it does a stab, you know? The fire should take care of him. Uh, I guess I'll just heal, right? Well, no, I will heal. Top off, you know? All right. Pool wine it gave me. Um, cool. All right, that should probably do it for this episode, though. Um, thank you all for coming and watching. Uh, thank you for coming back after the first one as well, and thank you for suffering through that earlier section where I uh, just was so confused to focus on platforming that I didn't talk that much. Uh, but I digress. I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. This has been Hylix Two. A game by Mason Lindroth. It's on Steam, but you can also buy it on Itch.io. And I think Itch.io might have better um, 
Itch.io might pay its creators better, but it might pay them worse because it's an indie thing. But if you don't want to support Steam, which I understand, uh, it's on Itch.io as well. Um, but yeah, uh, I recommend it. It's good. Helix 1 is on there as well. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Bye.